A contract is a legally enforceable promise between two parties that comes into fruition through the process of offer and acceptance. However, a question arises as to whether the acceptance of an offer is effective upon being sent or upon being received. In the 1963 case Morrison v. Tholk, a Florida appellate court considered this question in a case involving the sale of land. On November 26, 1957, Charles and Yvonne Morrison accepted an offer to purchase land in Florida and mailed an executed contract to the sellers, A.H. and Mattie Tholk, who were in Texas. However, soon after mailing the contract, prior to its receipt, the Morrisons changed their minds about buying the property and called the Tholk's attorney to cancel and repudiate their acceptance. Nonetheless, upon receipt of the contract, the Tholks recorded it on the land records and demanded complete performance and tender of the contract purchase price. Subsequently, the Morrisons brought a quiet title action against the Tholks in circuit court. Specifically, the Morrisons argued that the contract wasn't binding because their acceptance had been repudiated prior to being received in the mail by the Tholks. In response, the Tholks counterclaimed, arguing that they were entitled to specific performance of the contract because, under the mailbox rule, acceptance was effective upon being sent in the mail by the Morrisons. Both parties filed motions for summary judgment, requesting that the court rule in their favor as a matter of law. After a hearing, the circuit court entered summary judgment for the Morrisons, and the Tholks appealed to the District Court of Appeal of Florida, Second Circuit. 